Hi, this is Greg Hornschmeyer with Haran Wealth. I'm a senior vice president and principal at Haran Wealth. I've been in the business 35 years and specifically 27 here at Haran, leading our executive benefit and non-qualified deferred comp practice. I'm happy to have with me today, Paul Carl. Paul is a 38 year veteran um, in the retirement planning business, eight of which he spent at the Department of Labor. So Paul, welcome, great to have you here. And I know we have some great things to talk about. about great, beneficiaries. great to be here, thanks, Greg. So Paul, today we are discussing retirement plan beneficiaries. Why should retirement plan participants and IRA, IRA owners designate a beneficiary? Um, you know, the retirement plan and the IRA beneficiary designation is extremely important, Greg. Um, it tells the administrator just what they should do with your assets in the event of presumably your untimely death. Um, you know, and by designating that beneficiary, you're taking control of those assets instead of letting some outside party dictate where they should go. That's great. That's great. Um, are there specific rules that need to be followed uh, with des design designating a beneficiary? Um, Greg, there are. First of all, if you are married, your spouse must be your 100% primary beneficiary. If he or she is not your 100% primary beneficiary, your spouse must consent to that fact in writing, and that consent needs to be either witnessed by the plan administrator or notarized. Paul, what if someone is married with children and they want to split the beneficiary between their spouse and their kids, which is pretty common, I think. Um, that, that is pretty common, and it comes up every once in a while. So what's really important there is if you want to split that beneficiary with your spouse and have, you know, maybe your two children receive 50%, 25% each, your spouse 50%, regardless of how you split it, um, your spouse needs to consent to that in writing because they're not the 100% primary beneficiary. Great. Great to know. Uh, any additional information, Paul, you'd like to share about beneficiary designation? Uh, I would, Greg. First of all, you know, I did not address if you're single. Um, you can name anybody you want uh, as your primary beneficiary. Um, but even more importantly than that, if you have a sophisticated estate plan and you want to name a trust um, or some somebody other than a person, a relative, uh, really contact your estate planning attorney, your CPA, someone that you trust and figure out the right way to do it because it, it'll be to your advantage, the tax advantage especially. Well, Paul, that's good advice. Thank you for all this information. It's been very, very useful. For more information about this and other relevant topics, please visit the Haran Wealth website at haranwealth.com backslash insights.